Welcome to Frostborn Tutorial. I will be talking about PvP God. PvP might be the hardest thing to master. You may be dealing with high level, ruined, and aggressive players. Let's look over those lessons. First, you need to learn about armor and weapons. It is important to know what they can do. For example, Dragon Armor gives extra damage, extra health, and special armor that can be used for any class. However, it is not very tanky as regular plate armor. They are nearly equal to assassin armor. Another example, Thor's flask has an incredibly fast attack speed, which allows them to use their skills very quickly. However, the overtime damage is weak. You should be aware of the explosion skill from the occultist class. This is about finding their weakness and finding the way to counter them. It is best to read what their description says, and find their weakness. Second, you need to learn about classes. Classes are essential for most situations. Before I talk about them, you must learn how to use them properly. Let's say you want to use Bandit class. You can see here, it is a medium armor specialization and dagger class, which means you need to wear medium armor type, so you can have an extra defense to your armor. Otherwise, you don't get any bonus at all, it treats like a green rarity armor. So make sure you're using the right armor. Same thing with the weapon. It required a dagger, so it will boost your dagger bonus damage, and you will know otherwise. You will probably ask me, which class should you start or which class is the best? Well, it depends on your playstyle. Let's get into it. Heavy class is a close quarter class that uses heavy weapons, supposedly they're the highest defense, and a great for your starting class because it gives high survivability, and give time for you to learn. They are also the best for keeping your teammate alive. The medium class can be rogue, or archer. They can be vulnerable to attacks happening at a close range, but they can perform the most significant damage in the game. This is great for solo PvP. On the other hand, archers can be vulnerable to close range, Similar to a rogue, they can attack from the distance. It can be used both solo and team PvP. It can be great for PvE also. The light class can be a support, or combat. The armor has the lowest defense of the purple set. Support is essential in team PvP. You can be buffing your ally's damage, heal your ally, or stun enemies. Combat class is also essential for a damage dealer, also great for team PvP. They are very powerful but vulnerable. If you stay behind the heavy class, the team will be unstoppable. Flask class is a special. It can be used for combat and support. They are great for both PvP and team PvP. You will need to learn all the classes what they can do. Otherwise, you deal with the unexpected fight. Every class has a weakness and other classes can counter that specific class. So, what class are you going to pick? Next is, watching PvP videos. You can learn by watching how PvP works. This can help you to know what you should do in PvP. This is the best for someone who doesn't have any good gear for competitive PvP, or someone new of course. You can also look for specific harm or weapon to see how they use them. Bush. They can help you to keep hidden in the bush. If you move, they can see the bush is moving. Be careful, you can't attack them until you are near them. You can use gadgets or skills to expose them. Another thing is, 
If you're playing members and enemies are near you in the bush, you both get exposed. Yes, even clan members can expose you. Try to separate if that happens. Quick slot or pocket. You can put healing supplies and potions in those quick slot. It works only for consumables, no gadgets, and no weapons. Thanks to Frostborn adding these 5 quick slots gave us big advantages against PC players. So you don't have to go into the inventory and use something you need, that takes time. Just put them in the top row and you can now press them to use them immediately. Pocket can be used for gadget, or weapon swapping. Unpredictable move. If you think enemies is attempting to throw a hammer at you, do not dodge a straight line, try to dodge side to side. They sometimes will miss you. Healing. There are many ways to combine two types of healing. A bandage is the most used and the best healing in the game. You can combine foods to heal way faster. Foods like jerky, steak, and cooked carrots. Healing sounds are great, but only if you are in a safe spot. Make sure you bring those with you, sometimes you have a chance to use them safely. There is an elixir, that called survival elixir. It gives you more healing buff. Record every fighting duel. This is a good way to teach yourself what is right or wrong. You can watch your video to see what exactly happened, instead of guessing what happened. Even if you won the match, please take a look at it, and see what you can do better. Take a list of any errors, and correct them. Learn your mistakes. Next is, to be calm, do not panic. Panic is very common for new players, and that's okay. It happens. It made you run away, not doing anything, and hope that your luck is on your side. Don't do that. You need to stay calm. If you overcome it, you can able to think straight and plan, and that is how you win the fight. Next is, potions. Haste, Berserk. Hammer and a spell are essential for the specific situation. Those will help you to survive longer. If you use any one of those potions, you can't use that same potion for a minute, and any other potion for 15 seconds. Dispel is the most important potion in the game. It allows you to remove any stun or immobilization, and avoid big trouble. Without it, you will mostly lose PvP. I did mention about to be calm, otherwise, you will dispel for no reason, or too soon. Whoever dispels first, they have a chance to lose. If you land a first stun combo, they have a chance to lose the match, because they have a minute cooldown before using it again. Elixir is different from a potion, they can give you extra damage, more speed boost, armor boost, and more healing effects. They can last one hour and it only works in forest and rocky zones. Gadgets. They are the important gadgets or in the fight. It can be used for baiting the dispels, ending the match, or keeping the enemy stunned for a long period. Most of the time, they bring throwing hammers and shock mine. They are a perfect combo to land the long stun. Practice that combo, and you will have a chance to bait the dispel, and deal a good amount of damage. You need to remember the cooldown. For example, a player threw a throwing hammer, so that means they can't do the stun combo for 15 seconds. This will help you to know when you can push the player. Not only for stun, but we can also cancel their skills. It can be any stun gadget to cancel their skill. Bowlers are a must-have. They are extremely cheap and easy to use. 
It is useful for the ranged class. Be careful, an enemy can still attack while mobilized. Hide the stun trap. You can hide your stun traps behind the dead trees. Mob corpse. And even bush in specific spot. You can only put down 5 stun traps. Put down 3 stun traps instead, so you can perform a stun combo. Soup. Before PvP, you need to try primrose soups and mushroom soups. They help you to get more damage buff, and more defense buff at 2 minutes. They are good extra buff. Mob. While in PvP, you can use the mob to block incoming gadgets, and some skill attack. Very useful to prevent getting stunned and cancel their attempt to use shock mine. You can also do it with stronger enemies. It could save your life. Target lock on. Don't forget. You simply press on the enemies you want, so that way you won't attack or stun a wrong target. Mount. It can be used for a passive buff, fast speed, even using a skill attack and others. They are not just for a buff, they have bonus passive skills. For example, when riding a fox, you cannot be seen on the radar. You are invisible. They will not see you coming. Other many mounts can be summoned faster. If you dismount your mount animal, your skills and potions will set the cooldown for 5 seconds, and some mounts will lower down to 3 seconds. It is best to dismount in a safe area, or let the mobs or players disable your mount, it will be ready immediately. 5 or 3 seconds can be enough for an enemy to get you killed. So do not dismount the animal until it is safe. Look at the icon. This will appear on the left top and above our head. It shows us what effect you used. It will tell you a buff, stun, healing, weaken and so much more. This is important to pay attention those icon. The stun icon is essential. It tells you when the enemy is stunned and it tells you when it will be expired. It helps you to predict when to follow the stun combo. When you damage any way to players. It will trigger the purple icon by using attack, gadgets, and whatever that damage a players. No matter how far away, it will trigger. Another purpose of this icon, you can't leave the zone for 15 seconds. Wild animals. You can tell if there is a player somewhere in the far distance, by looking at birds and snakes. They ate some random animals roaming around. Try not to scare them away. Rune players. Some fearsome players have many runes on them. They could damage you with insanely high damage, and ridiculous HP. It is best not to practice with them. They can kill you so quickly before you do something. If you are attempting to defeat them, try using Protector Class with a Reflection Potion to make them taste their own medicine. Try to search for wind in the team often. Mostly, they drop rune shards. One final thing you'll need to know is to be patient. Of course, on your very first PvP fight, you will most likely lose the fight. Even if you have class 4 and are equipped with the best gear in the game, still possible to lose the fight. It is okay to lose the fight often, it is the best way to learn. You may lose many weapons, honor, and stuff you'll practice PvP. Failure is not the opposite of success. It is part of the success. This way, this is how the legends are created. You need to practice and you need to experience it. There are so many possibilities to win the PvP, and I can't just help you with every situation. This is my best advice to tell you how to PvP. If you never give up, you will be successful. You will be undefeated. You will be unstoppable. This video is helpful.
for you. Now grow strong, my friend. <laughs>